Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial of Trillium Marketing and today I'm so excited to as iPhone version 10 has been released and we all are so excited to use that but before that I'm creating a vector copy of iPhone version 10 so let's start now first of all I'm creating a new document here so I have taken the standard specifications from the Apple website which is which showing that the two iPhone is 2.79 inches in width and 5.65 inches in height and I'm, as I'm working on the front view so orientation will be portrait and I'm not using the bleed, bleed at the moment so uh, I will uh, leave it as it is so what I'm going to do I, I will use the color mode CMYK and the standard resolution is uh, 3300 ppi so I will go with these settings now and it will look like this the, my artboard and uh, I will go with the 100% and now as you all know the standard uh, layout of the iPhone has been curved and rectangular so what uh, we need to do first of all we need to define the corner radius of uh, a rounded uh, uh, rectangle so what I'm going to do I will use this value to 25 pixels so it will be look like this uh, after when I will draw the rectangle here so just like this so what I'm going to do I will create some offset to this just to define the depth of the iPhone the standard depth of the iPhone is 0.39 inches so I will go but I'm as I'm creating the front view so I will use these the just uh, uh, you know uh, I will focus on the standard uh, view of uh, uh, of, of the of the of the iPhone so what I'm going to do I will define some path and here I'm creating the offset path which is five pixels um, so it will look like this when I will create the five pixels from here and again I will repeat the same process uh, but this time I will use minus five pixels just to create another uh, a rectangle inside the middle one so it will be look like this okay so now I am creating the color shade to the first uh, rectangle click it on and uh, now I am using this shade uh, so you can create more blending because it's a combination of gray and black so select it out and uh, now create black to this now I am creating another shade in between which is the whitish gray okay so it will be look like this after doing these uh, blendings now I am choosing the middle rectangle and here I'm, I'm using this color picker and uh, I'm using same coloring here but this time I want to blend in different way so what I'm going to do I will use another here I'm using some more uh, adjustment to colors so what I'm going to do I will use the gray one here and here it will be around absolute white so it will be look like this after doing these uh, changes if you want then you can more you can change the color settings like this because I, I'm not okay with this pan of uh, these shares so it will be look like this if you want you can also remove it from here and you can make the black here and gray well, sorry the gray will be in uh, black will be in between and gray will be on side and before because I want to have some touch of white so I will place the white uh, I want to place the white uh, part in between so it will be look like this after doing these settings so okay so now what I'm going to do uh, wait I'm not quite okay with the middle one so I will make some more adjustment to this I want to increase the span of this black just like just like this okay so it will be look like this after doing these settings now I'm going to select the third one and here I want to off the stroke panel so, uh, the stroke color and here the fill color as well so it will be look like this after doing these changes now 
what I'm going to do, I will use this Nash tool. You can also press U from your keyboard to turn it on. So I now I am going to create an anchor point in the third rectangle, just like this. And here I'm going to choose the color, which is the red one. And here I am creating another anchor point. And now I am creating a color to pink. And you can also make some adjustment to the layers so here I am using this one and I will create a little curve or slope to this layer but um, here I am using the color blue now I am using another layer here of blue and here I am using another anchor point and this time I will turn it to white again create another anchor point and this time turn it to orange and orange here as well just to enhance the color and now here I am using the blue one like this and here change it to blue and uh, now again I am creating the anchor point and here I am using the pink one I want to enhance this pink here so I will use the copy like this so now what I'm going to do I will create on the middle one and here I'm enhancing the white part so it will be look like this after enhancing the white so it will be look like this so I'm okay with these settings if you want to change uh, the blending as um, in more uh, different way then you can do this but you can uh, click on any anchor point press A to intact the direct selection tool and you can move these settings like this something like this if you want to make some more adjustment to color blending or something like that otherwise you have one more option to you you can press shift r to intact your wrap tool and you can do the settings or the color uh, um, uh, changes to uh, just like this okay so it, it all depends upon you how do you want to look like and how the color will be i'm quite okay with the first one so i will go with that uh, uh, settings so i'm i'm okay with this one so now what i'm going to do next i will create a simple uh, rounded rectangle again just like this and now i am creating this um, another rectangle and overlap this rectangle to the another one, the rounded rectangle. Select both these one, and now subtract the uh, subtract the. Uh, so it will be look like this after doing subtraction. So now what I'm going to I will scale it down, just like this, and turn the color to black one, and uh, place it here. just like this if you want to make more adjustment so what I'm going to do I will use the color span to this rectangle I want to remove this one and here I want to remove this one so it will be look like this so what I'm going to do next, I will magnify it to 200% just to show you how it will be look like. And now I am creating the some you know panels for a speaker and microphone, so it will be look like this. And now here I'm using 12 uh, corner radius is 12 pixels. Control Z, and here, okay. So I'm using the color is uh, whitish gray, which is this one is quite better. So remove this one. And here I'm keeping off the stroke. Uh, keep and place it uh, in the middle of this part. So it will be look like this. And now I am creating another ellipse, small circle. Control Z. 
and here you can place it around it. You need to make it a little closer so it will be look like this. Now what I'm going to do, I have to create some, you know, I uh, some buttons for the a ring and silent again going to the same and now turn the color to black and here I'm to just reducing the height here and you can place it like this now press ctrl C and ctrl F and put it down reduce the height like this and now again ctrl C ctrl F these are the volume buttons for up and down volume up and down Okay, so move it little down from here. So it will be look like this. So here is the final look of your iPhone. So you can see that how it will be look like. So I want to show you on the 100%. So you can see how it will be looking when we are what I'm, I want to show you on the white part so it will be more visible and here I want to arrange it and back and to back so it will be look like this so this is the you know uh, the standard uh, uh, layout of the iPhone version 10 that I have just created I'm not going into the uh, text part or, or the um, other details but this is the standard layout that I wanted to create it in a vector format thank you so much for watching and I will come back to you another tutorial subscribe to my channel and have a very good day bye bye